Hey, this is Not Sir, and this is the Tier 8 Premium Taiwanese Destroyer Luoyang. It has four 127mm guns, 10 torpedoes, 37 AA defense rating, a surface detect of 6.4 kilometers, top speed, 38 knots, total health 14,600. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main armament, improved aiming accuracy, reduced crit chance on propulsion, improved acceleration, concealment. For my commander, basic firing training, last stand, and superintendent. We are on the map neighbors, and this is pretty overdue. I should have played this ship long ago, but I didn't think Wargaming would wait six months or ten months before they would sell it again. I just couldn't justify the purchase at the time. Now we have it. What's the deal with it? It's a Benson. It's a premium Benson that uses the C-Hull instead of the B-Hull or the A-Hull because it values AA over the gun systems. Anyone who's never used the Benson, the Benson can decide to have more AA for one less gun. It goes down to four. Hmm. This particular ship only has four guns. Exactly. It has sacrificed one gun turret for more AA protection. Now, another unique aspect, because I do consider the sea hull of the Benson pretty unique, you just don't use it. Destroyers don't value AA protection. They just don't. They have the anti-AA. They want to avoid everything. They don't want to be seen at all. But the other unique aspect of this ship, it can use hydroacoustic. And since the Benson can use defensive fire, it can do as well. So it has the boost, defensive fire, and hydro. So, bunch of choices that you can make. I have chosen to use hydroacoustic, and we'll see how well that works out. Now, I tried to engage the enemy Fubuki, and he popped a smoke. Now, I had AP loaded from last game, I swear. I immediately swapped it to HE because it's much better. This enemy battleship is in the way, the Turpets. He's right on the edge of my torpedo range. Now, one nice thing about this ship, you can decide to have short range, really fast torpedoes or long range, slower torpedoes. I always value concealment. Can I outrange my concealment factor, my detection? If I cannot, then I don't use it. If I can, I can. It's pretty simple. Your detection really is that important. Now we're engaging the enemy, Terpits. It is out in the open. It is dangerous, but you know what? I like to live dangerously. I'm trying to get him on fire, and someone else has already done that. He has two fires. Now I'm going to try and walk it up to the bow of the ship. It's not easy, but we're not doing this to be easy. We're doing this to learn, to try and get the target dead. It's pretty simple. I'm a destroyer, and it appears that the enemy destroyer has sent their torpedoes, so we're just going to avoid it. Didn't need hydro there, was able to safely avoid it without much issue. Remember, I'm using the acceleration module, so this is the worst the rudder will ever be. And it's about 8.5 seconds to go all the way to the other side, which is not bad. It's not particularly impressive, but it's, it's not bad, and it's very usable. So we avoid the torpedoes, and it looks like most of the enemy wants to push the northeast side of the map. We have some stationary targets, or very nearly stationary. They are moving dreadfully slow, and none of them are in torpedo range. Now we see what looks like all four known positions for the enemy destroyers, and this guy is in fact retreating. Not everyone wants to lead the pack. Some want to just follow, like that enemy Atago. So. I would like to predict that the enemy will eventually turn towards my position, get in range of my torpedoes, and I can attack them. And I'm just going to look for an attack. Coming around the island, it looks pretty good. Nothing spotted. I got a friendly right behind me that has a clear line of sight. And, in fact, they are not there. There is a lot of dark though only one enemy ship is spotted now two of course and then well, they're all gonna be spotted right screws up my 
comment completely, but this is a little dangerous. I want to get in range to use my torpedoes, though. Haven't really had an opportunity. I chose a side that, quite frankly, was the wrong side. The enemy didn't decide to go that way. Oh, oh we got a little bit too close. That enemy, New Mexico, or the York, was able to scout me out. I stop, basically, and I use my smoke. And I would like to predict that they're moving forward. We've got multiple enemy ships in the area, even though I only see two. Yeah, the York, the North Carolina. Definitely send against them. Try and lead, predict, whatever. We've got to get some hits on the target. And I didn't realize this enemy, Fubuki, was right there until I looked over. And instead of firing, I wait. I wait until he gets behind the island. And then I'm not detected anymore. I use my damage control to get rid of the fire because the fire does extend your detection. Keep that in mind. And I'm trying to race away from that enemy York because he's putting pressure on me. Surely he has hydroacoustica. And hopefully he has hydro. Any good German will use that German engineered hydroacoustic. It's far superior to any other faction's hydroacoustic. It's fantastic, honestly. You could be aggressive around a destroyer, exactly like the York. Not feel like you're you're in a bind or you're you got your hands behind your back. You have the safety net of hydroacoustic, which is great. And multiple games that I've played. I've shown exactly that. Oh, there must be a destroyer. I'm detected. I have this amount of detectability. It could only be a destroyer. So I decided, eh, let's fire on him. Make him sweat a little. Maybe set him on fire. Friendly, unfortunately, blows up in my face. And I thought for half a second, did I do that? You know, did I hit something really critical? Well, no, you didn't. But we've got five enemy ships five enemy ships I'm the closest target this is not good so I just give ground I hold my fire oh tried to hit me don't do a pattern when you're avoiding shots wait until the enemy has fired and react to the shot in your destroyer so I'm going to send against the enemy York I felt like he just wanted to put pressure on me so I sent one against the York but it does look like he's going to turn back not be in front, which I can't blame him. He's already 50%. His battleships are being uh, chickens. Great big chickens. Tons of feathers. Absolutely tons. They're just letting their teammates go forward and die. Instead of trying to push my team out, my team is sort of preoccupied. We are at a disadvantage as well. But I did hit a couple torpedoes previously on, I think, the North Carolina. And it forced out damage control, most definitely. And maybe we can do the same right now. Now, you saw, with my second set, I was targeting a battleship sort of in the rear. I think it was the North Carolina. But I can't remember precisely. It was definitely not the York. I knew the York was not a target. And it looks like it's going to work out against this North Carolina. He is right smack in the center of my torpedoes. We hit one, two, three, and he's gone. Now, I can't say that I knew I was going to hit him. I thought that one of the enemy battleships would push forward. They do have an island on the inside of their ship, so they're going to have to deal with not having a good position. What are you doing here, Mr. Popeye? This is sort of expected, though. Whenever battleships push forward like this, there's a good chance that there's going to be a destroyer close by. Plus, they were detected on the minimap when a friendly went way too far to the northeast side of the map. So the enemy decides, okay, I'm going to park my Mahan in the smoke and not fire. I'm going to wait until you're vulnerable and probably go after you. Maybe send torpedoes, right? Okay. That's an interesting strategy. But you know what my particular ship can do that no other destroyer can? I can use hydroacoustic. Now, hydroacoustic is great for detecting torpedoes. Predicting the torpedo protecting your cruiser, your battleship friends, it's fantastic. I use it all the time. 
But you know what else it's good at? Detecting things behind islands and in smoke. So I decide, okay, we're about 3.54. You can use the AA lines to give you a, a good hint. And we decide, okay, let's use Hydro. Now, I am detecting him. He very clearly sees the exclamation point with the little radar sound system coming off of it. And he's going, oh, crap. And if I would fire without the smoke, I would be detected. But I decided, let's drop smoke. And I'm going to sit in mine, firing on him. He cannot see me. And this is the most evil thing you can do, right? Absolutely could do nothing. His teammates could tell him nothing. He already used all of his torpedo sets. He was quite literally boned. Nothing he could do could change the outcome. He had to have understood that was my intent. And I felt bad for him. Like, it, I felt real bad. It's like, ugh. He didn't lose it because of skill. He lost it because of knowledge. And that's what we try and do. We try and empower. Now, I sent my torpedoes. They were ready. I can see enemy Fuso. He is broadside, so I decide let's try AP. And it's not working too good. But we get two torpedoes to hit. One causes a flood. He's still on fire, so it is flooding. Is the next second to hit him? And it looks good. It looks like we're going to get two for 12,000 points of damage. Doesn't kill him. He's able to avoid the third torpedo, but he does eventually die to just the overwhelming dot damage and the teammates firing on his position. And that worked out pretty well, right? 90,000 points of damage. But I do have an island protecting myself from the New Mexico. I was 100% aware of the island the entire time I was engaging the Fuso. I did not want to give the New Mexico an opportunity to engage me. I never looked at the island, maybe glanced at it, but you never saw it. I was driving with my minimap. You need to make sure you can do that. And just keep them in between. It's real simple. Doesn't he seem to be playing with the idea that he's going to see me? That's what I was reading it as. And yeah, <laughs> look at his front gun. Did you see that front gun? It was rotating, and now I think he is giving up. And yep, yep, nope, you're not going to see me one second. But it felt like that New Mexico was like, ah, I'm ready to go. I'm going to save my battleship. Why isn't he showing himself? Why isn't he rotating around the island? This isn't fair! And he gives up, right? And that's because I managed to manipulate it like that. And now his guns are looking at me. Yes, indeed, they fire on me. And we're going to take significant damage. I deserve that. I absolutely deserve that. But he's dead now. Teammates were able to take him out. And that's fantastic. Another enemy destroyer, another enemy Mahan, shows up. And we're going to engage him. We knock out his propulsion. You can see the sparks coming off of the smokestack. And he uses his damage control. It's no longer there. So he's going to be susceptible to another propulsion being knocked out. And you notice my technique. It just draw an oval around the target and lead him in whatever direction he's going. It's pretty simple. He is using the predictable pattern. He's not reacting to when I fire the gun. If you would react to the target firing, you could avoid the shot rather than generating a pattern that an onlooker could easily perceive and use against you. So, unfortunately, there's an island in the way, so I can't continue engaging the destroyer. I'm going to try and send against the Colorado. However, the indicator basically says, you're not going to hit this guy. He's going to go buy it. But you never know. He could change his angling. He could slow down. You never hit if you don't send, right? Got to keep that in mind, not sir. Now we continue our barrage. and Well, looky there. We hit the first salvo. And we missed the second one, unfortunately, but continue up the pressure. Captain Jack, you're going down. I'm not going to let you just get out of here without losing your life. You've come too far forward. Quick check on the Colorado. Torpedoes appear to be on point. It looks like he did slow down a little bit from when the indicator was saying, Ah, you're not going to hit him at all. And the enemy is back. Well... 
Let's just hit it. Okay, one shell. And again, take out his propulsion. I'm sure he's real thrilled about that. Oop, one more. One more should be enough. It's a confirmed kill. Don't even watch it. Cool guys don't look at explosions, and cool guys don't run into islands, not sir. Get your hands off of that. Don't you touch it. It was the island it wanted me, and what the? He dropped torpedoes, don't it? Oh my. I would have died right there. 100%, I would have died right there if I was just, I mean, centimeters? Millimeters? It must have touched the paint. It was so close, wasn't it? But we're alive. Octave went up just a touch there. But I felt pretty good about this game. I felt very happy with the performance of the ship. Went to the flank that really needed us to bog it down. And don't pull another knot, sir. It's so predictable. I just lock in. I've got to aim every single gun cooldown. One single gun cooldown that isn't aimed precisely and on cooldown is a waste of DPS. And who is going to kill the Colorado? This is really up for grabs. Who could get the tag? Oh, we're trying. We're not really getting a lot of HE damage. He's burned a lot. Very minor damage. Oh, is this it? No. Kill him. Kill him. 297. Six hit points. We missed it by six. Well, I can't complain about that game. That was a fun game. And we got that Hydro kill. That is such a unique moment. A destroyer using Hydro in his own smoke, killing another destroyer in his smoke. Three kills, 118,000 points of damage, tons of credits, 2,042 base XP. Look at Poimane. Three kills. Good job, Poimane. Right up there with me. Alba did a good job, too. Most of our damage came from those torpedoes, of course. Not surprised. I mean... The battleships were asking for it. They told me, torpedo me, torpedo me, and I just had to. If you enjoy the Benson, you'll enjoy this ship. It's basically the same thing, only premium. That credit income. I know a lot of people need it. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.